Um, as, as Imran had mentioned, um, you will be able to set up your account the first time you try to buy anything on the site. So for example, if you want to pre-use the program, and if we go to schedule, and as you can see here under this login button, I'm not currently logged into an account. But if I try clicking the buy tickets button, um, I will get this pop-up where it asks me to put in my email address. And if I don't have an event of account already, it'll just prompt me to put in my first name, last name, credit card information. And then once you log in, you can proceed to make your transaction. Otherwise, you can just click login at the top right here and you'll get an eventive login widget as well. And just click login and, and you just log into your account that way. Um, and it's pretty kind of pretty much simple in terms of creating an account. Um, so in, in regards to um, navigating the festival, so in addition to Blackstar's website where you can of course order tickets directly through here, uh, and also favorite items through this little heart um, icon right here. We also have uh, two types of apps for the festival this year. There is the Blackstar mobile app, which you can download on an iPhone or an Android device. And it is the perfect on the go tool for your in-person festival experience. You can use the app to um, access a full schedule of the events, to look through a full film guide of every film that's playing at the festival. You can manage your ticket and pass benefits all within the app. And you can also purchase, or if you have a pass, order additional tickets to in-person events through the app. Uh, one note though, um, is the mobile app cannot be used to order tickets to virtual screenings. You will have to order those uh, on either Blackstar's website or on watch.blackstarfest.org, which we'll get into in just a bit. Um, but once you have unlocked a virtual screening through any of those other means, you can then watch that virtual screening through the mobile app if you if you would like. And then the other um, apps that we offer this year are the Blackstar TV apps. And these are on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Google TV. And uh, if you don't have the app from last year, and or if you do have the app from last year, you can just um, uh, just update it. Um, if you don't have the app, you can search in the app store of whatever streaming device that you have. Just search up Blackstar Film Festival 2024 and download it to your device. Um, once you do and you open up the app for the first time, you will see a six-digit pairing code. And you'll see instructions on how to, on where to put that code and how to connect your event of account to your TV app. Once you do that, you will see all, every virtual screening uh, on the app that you can pre-use. And you also see a section called My Content Library, which will have every virtual screen that you've already registered for. Um, I think going back to Blackstar's website, um, regarding how you can access your passes and your tickets, there's a few ways to do it. So with passes, you can of course just pick up a physical pass directly at the festival. It'll have your QR code printed on it and you can just present that at whatever venue you're attending and they'll scan that at the door. Uh, alternatively, you can also access your pass through the mobile app if you don't want to worry about wearing a pass or, or having to carry around your pass all the time. 